Senegal's constitution prohibits anyone from running for a third term but sitting president, Macky Sall, who was elected in 2012 and again in 2019 wants to override the constitution and seek re-election for a third term. Now with the help of the judiciary, he's going against his political opponents and his main opponent for next year February elections is Osman Sanko, who is very popular amongst the youths. Osman Sanko was accused of raping a woman who worked at Massage Pallor and making threats at her and was charged to court in 2021. On Thursday, Sanko was convicted of corrupting youth but was acquitted of rape and death threats so according to them, his only crime was corrupting youth and not rape, they sentenced him to two years in prison. According to the Senegalese constitution, corrupting youth, which includes using one's power to have sex with people under the age of 21, is a criminal offense and punishable by up to five years in prison with a fine of more than $6,000. This conviction will rule him out of contesting for next year's election. Osman Sanko says he's innocent and President Sally is using the judiciary to convict and disqualify him from running. It was after the trial ended that the country went into chaos as supporters of Sanko hit the street in protest and confrontation with the police ensued. Now the Senegalese government have banned social media in Senegal that's why you rarely see anything about Senegal trending online. Is this democracy or autocracy?